in this video you are going to learn how you can create this kind of dynamic calculator uh, form or a calculator widgets for a cleaning company or how a calculator for a cleaning company website uh, into Elementor so this is very simple you need to follow some steps and you will be able to create this kind of dynamic calculator with the pricing using Elementor and Elementor unlimited elements widgets so let's get started first of all we need to install a plugin that is called uh, unlimited elements so we need to have its pro version after the installing the Elementor unlimited elements pro um, we need to go here unlimited elements and click on widgets in the widgets uh, keep sure uh, in the form builder here is the form builder in the form builder you need to uh, install the number field drop down field submit field and add any field that you need for example checkbox email radio buttons phone fields slider and so on so every field that you need uh, you can install uh, into the widgets okay after that uh, you need to go into your elementor builder for example this is my elementor builder and here i just select a field or a container so here is the container and in that container i search for a drop down field okay so this is the drop down field i will just drag and drop here and i will name it any any you can just name a uh, field by the name that you want to or uh, use in in your calculations and here i will say type okay i will just name it type and in that i will say I will say service types okay so this will be the label for this field now go into the options for example for example uh, option one is regular and its value you need to enter the value that you want to you know calculate into the calculations okay so here uh, the option two option two is for me is deep and uh, its value is 1100 okay and here is the option three i already edited my options move in for example and uh, here i will write the option three and its value is 1500 okay for example uh, when the calculation will be calculated so the value will be counted okay so this is for uh, i mean item one uh, you can also uh, disable the label uh, you can see this is the regular and uh, in the items uh, we can add a new item and here i will say service type okay and in that value we do not add any value okay so when someone will select the uh, inner so then uh, the value can be uh, you know selected okay so this is uh, i have hired the label as well as i will add new select option for example and here i will just um, make its width for example and uh, i i will make it uh, for example uh, auto inline or make it width into the custom so in the percentage i will make it 20 percent okay so this is now 20 percent okay go here and here i will just add a new item drop down again and add a new drop down sorry it should be here top and here and uh, again here i just uh, go to advance and its width should be 20 percent uh, okay here i will make it 20 percent okay and here in the form setting and the container i will make it uh, flow right okay so now you can see this is 20 percent and here i will again go here and here i will say it's uh, bathrooms okay so i will say bath okay so drop down field name is bath so here i will say um, bathrooms okay so this is actually to you know uh, introduce uh, the background okay here in the items for example i will say one br and one br is it have no value or we can say mm, bathrooms okay no value and one br one br uh, when someone select one br there is no value but when someone select two brs uh, two bathrooms 
so here is a value for two brs i mean 90 okay and just like that uh, if we if someone select three and four uh, there is someone some value so i add all the uh, values here okay i have added all the values uh, for one br two br three brs and so on okay now again i will add a new drop down and same like that i will drag and drop this drop down here and in advance i will make it um, uh, 20 percent okay here i will make it 20 percent and here again i will go here and this is uh just like uh, the third value for us is um bedroom okay so sorry this is the bedroom and i i change it the first one to to two bedrooms okay this one is bathroom and this one is bedroom and here items i will say uh, bed rooms and here i select make it bed okay and uh, here in the items i will say bedrooms okay so one br two br three br okay so this is third one is bathroom okay so here i will select say it bath uh, the fill value and uh, in the items uh, here first one is bath rooms okay there is no value and here uh, one bathroom there is no value for uh, the two bathrooms there is uh, some values okay so for the two bathrooms uh, we have a price 120 okay basically this is a cleaning company uh, form okay and here i disable the label here okay so this is the bathrooms as well as uh, we have uh, uh, three bathrooms value in four and five now i have added uh values for all bathrooms and uh, uh, the values for bedrooms and the service type values okay now we need to calculate it so for calculating we need to have a field that is called number field okay so this is a number field and just drag and drop here and this is the number field and just like that i just show hide the title uh, heading and here i will say calculate okay so this is the field name calculate and default value should be zero and uh, here um the steps i mean uh, you can add these steps and here you just need to enable calculation okay so here i will add the formula okay so here is the calculator and here i will add the formula for example uh, here you need to add the fields name for example uh, the first field was service okay so the first field was the type okay so i will add the type here in the calculator and uh, here type plus here i just add the plus icon and here i will select the value for bedrooms okay so the field two is the bed i think so field two just say and uh, bed is bed and the field three let's see the field three is the bath and here i will add the value in the calculator field three is the plus okay you can add any formulas but i even wanna add all the values and here i will say bath okay so here uh, i will select the regular is 600 and the bathroom is two bathroom is 690 and if i select three bath no, bathrooms it's 9040 okay so these are the bedrooms these are the bathrooms and if we do not select any so there is no value okay so this is how uh, it works now you can mm, you know easily design this uh, you know calculator and here uh, if i want to add uh, the unit because there is uh, um, there is no unit and here i can add uh, the dollar sign or any other sign for example so here is the dollar sign for example twenty dollars seventy dollar ninety dollar so here is the this is how you can 
make a simple calculator uh, uh, using unlimited elements now I want to add some mm, you know designs here so here uh, in that I, I make it center line and here um, for the field style I select the padding here is this one and border width should be one pixel and the border radius should be zero because we don't need uh, border radius here as well as I just click here and I just copy and here I just add some more uh, settings here in the style I change the border color so here in the border color I select this color as the border color and uh, uh, as well as if we mm, select here this is good and here as well as uh, we just paste this and uh, just click here click here and copy and just click here and paste style okay so this style will be applied here and here just paste style and the style has been applied here okay so here now we go here and click on style and here is the import import should be uh, align center and you can make it you know now right or left and here in the background i want to select this background and uh, border radius should be zero pixel we don't need a border radius and uh, here is the border color so border width should be zero we don't need border and this is now looking nice a bit nicer and uh, again i click here here and uh, um we make some more changes so here text after field so this is the text after field and i make it here this is just like dollar sign okay so um, again it is text color uh, you can change the text color for example dollar sign is uh, the color and here i will select the white color and here is the input so here in the input color i should select white so this is looking nice right now and uh, if i add some so here in the input i select the height for example um 46 height is 46 is looking uh good for that 46 is a bit smaller i select 48 okay i select 47 and uh, in the input i select the uh, border border radius and uh, border width should be one pixel because for all we have one pixel border and uh, here i select the border color to the this one or i select um, this one or select this one okay so this is the border color okay now if i click here and uh, see that is a bit higher and here again i go here and uh, the content sorry in the style and here i will select 50 46 as the its width and this is okay for now and here i just mm, just click on update and refresh the home browser uh, home page and let's see is it uh, working or not now you can see uh, if i select the regular and uh, this is working okay now if i add some background here click on style and here i just add a background here okay so this is looking nice okay just click on update and see is it is it um, working or not and refresh so this is uh, working uh, very beautifully